it's Sarah from Sarah Lou Yoga here. Today's little session is a quick 15 minute yoga hip movement sequence. So it is pretty full on at the start. Um, so do warm up if you need to before you get going because you won't get much of a warm up um, at the beginning. That being said, it will be over before you know it. So just need to hop into something comfortable, grab a mat and I'll see you there. Okay, welcome to this hip workout. We're going to do three rounds of a pyramid style sequence. So a quick warm up to start with, come into all fours, connect to your breath. Start to connect to your body. And then with your next inhale, come into cow, taking the chest and tailbone away from one another. And then exhale into cat, drawing the abdominals in, pressing the floor away. We've got two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose. Lovely. Okay, from here, curl the toes under, press up and back into downward facing dog. I'm going to pedal it out, warming up the backs of the legs, the calves, the ankles. Keep good connection with your breath. And then let's take an inhale to walk it to the front. Exhale to bend the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then with your exhale, take a ski bend, swinging the arms up and back. Up as you inhale, back as you exhale. So you can go as vigorously or as softly as you like with these. It's just a really easy, quick and efficient way of warming everything up and getting the energy moving. Okay, last one. And then walk to the front of your mat, come into Tadasana. So we're ready for our first flow. So we've got 12 reps to begin with. So inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank and then lower down with the knees up or down. You choose coming all the way to the floor for cobra or flipping the toes over for up dog. Exhale, down with facing dog. And then inhale, come into plank. And then we've got 40 mountain climbers. So count away. Keep your bum down. Draw the knees in. Press firmly through the finger pads. Breathe. Okay, stop. Whatever leg is in front, place it between the hands, curl the butt cheeks under, crescent lunge. As you exhale, drop the back knee towards the floor. We've got 12 of these and then inhale up. So 11 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hands to the floor, runner's lunge, right? Jump the other leg forward, and then we're going to repeat this. So exhale, drop in the back knee. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, hands to the floor. Step forward, widen the feet. We're going to do 12 sumo squats. So sink down deeply first. Drive on up and then exhale back and inhale up. So really use your glutes. Press into the feet, hug the inner legs in, press the outer legs away so you really can get in deep with these squats. Okay. Okay, 
with the next one we're going to just do 12 jump jumping squats so have fun with this one and then come into an all fours curl the toes under and then we're going to float the knees up and then connecting with your core you're going to sit the bum back and then ease it forward this is bare kind of pushbacks and they're great for the front of the thighs and your core muscles we're doing 12 of these again as you can see i've dropped my knees a bit there although they have floated up a bit the key to this is to keep the knees as low as possible and then you're exhaling push back and curl that tailbone down towards the backs of your knees and then you get really good burn in the front of the thighs as well as a workout in your core okay that's the last one let's pedal it back to down with facing dog that's the end of round one take an inhale walk to the front exhale fold inhale root to rise and then we're going to do it all again so exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale step back and lower you choose come into cobra or up dog and exhale down with facing dog take an inhale and then we're repeating those mountain climbers so get going Pumping those knees in. Okay, whatever leg is in front, step it between the hands, curl the butt cheeks under, crescent lunge. So we've got eight drops this time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one hands to the floor jump switch other leg in front engage the legs and then we got eight on this side seven six five four three two and one Hands to the floor, walk the back foot in, widen your stance. We've got eight sumo squats, so sitting back, driving it up. Keep breathing, keep the legs working, keep the weight in the heels. And then eight squat jumps. Five, six, and then drop it down, coming into the bare push ups. Exhaling, sit back, inhaling, coming to center. That's two, three, four, five, six seven eight down with facing dog pedal it out okay ready for our last round okay step to the front inhale exhale forward fold inhale come on up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift Exhale, step it back to plank and lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, down with facing dog. Take an inhale, coming into those mountain climbers from plank. So plank and then here we go, mountain climbers. Pump it forward. Keep going. Okay, whatever leg is in front, squeeze up, 
we've only got four of these, so dropping down for one, two, three, and four. Okay, hands to the floor, jump switch, four on the other side. Take your time squeezing it up, inner legs hugging in, outer hips hugging in, dropping that back knee as low as you can. Okay, hands to the floor, step in for sumo squats. So sit back, drive up for one, two, three, and four. Come on down, grab the top of the mat and just sit back just for a breath. And then four of those little jump squats, one, two, three, four, come back into that deep squat, hold the front of the mat, sit back just for a breath and just help open up your hips. And then let's come down to bear. We've got four of these. So exhaling, bringing that butt towards the heels, keep everything low, that's the key. Exhale back, inhale forward, two more. And then down with facing dog. Okay, we're done. So walk it out. And then we're going to inhale the right leg up, bend the knee and open the hip. Try and keep your shoulders square and even. And then you'll get a beautiful stretch along that right side. Inhale the legs straight and then exhale, step it between the hands, coming into a low lunge and janiyasana. Press into the front knee with your hands and just push the hips forward. Breathe. Feel that lovely stretch in the back hip. And then from here, hands to the floor, pull the hips back for Ardha Hanumanasana half splits. It's a little stretch for the back of your hamstring of the front leg. All right, and then curl the back for Tundra, come back into dog. We'll repeat that on the other side. So left leg up. Keep the shoulders nice and steady and just bend the knee and start to open that hip. Breathe. Feel that lovely lengthening of your left front side. And then inhale, straighten the leg, exhale. Step it through and gently answer on the second side using the hands on the front knee just to help you sink those hips down and deeper into the stretch. Okay, hands to the floor, pull the front leg straight for half splits. Getting stretched through the hamstring. And then come to a seat. We're going to come into fire log pose. So you're going to take the left leg under the right, shin on top of shin. And then you can stay upright or you can, as I'm showing, come into a little forward fold. So we're stretching out the outer hips. If the top knee is nowhere near the bottom foot, grab a pillow or a cushion and just sandwich that between the gap. If that doesn't work, then just stretch out the bottom leg. So let's try the other side. You will notice a difference. So, you know, be kind to your body. Remember, you can stretch out the bottom leg and just do the top. Or you can make a sandwich 
using a cushion between the bottom foot and the top knee. Okay, come on out, give the legs a shake and you are done. So well done. If you've got time to do any more stretches, go ahead. Otherwise, see you next time on the mat.